This is another exciting installment of ASMRness. And today I wanted to show you something pretty special to me. And this video might range or begin relaxing and end me just rambling on about something I'm really excited about. So, yeah! <laughs> this is a very red binder. Very red. Intensely red binder. And it has some special things in it. And... Can you tell what might be in here? I'm never not gonna love Pokemon. <laughs> anyway. I think card binders are actually really relaxing. And yes, I still do actively collect Pokemon cards. Anyway, what I was going to do today was just, um, kind of see what noises I can get out of his things and see if this video even ends up being a good ASMR video, not just random loud noises and I end up having to almost completely scratch the video. But, um, I guess it's soft-spoken because that's how I started doing this video. And I have a buttload of cards that I need to put in here. And I might do this again where I actually go and buy Pokemon cards and specifically focus on um, the ASMR qualities of these guys in the card binder. So, I might go into depth about these and why I like them so much. That's really cool. I'll just ramble on about them, I guess. And, um, yeah, that's a really cool part. <laughs> focus on the noises, but no, anyway. I guess I'm just doing this for funsies right now. Yay. The cards I have to organize are all these, this um, booster pack called Dragon Vault. This is a pretty cool, interesting pack of cards that they have going on. It's, of course, dragon themed, and I'm pretty sure all of them are just dragons. And it might work for some people who like dragons, it might not. But they're just really... Really interesting cards, and I think I save all the foils from the booster packs that I get. Um, and I think they have really awesome sounds. So I might play with those one day. But yeah. These are all drains ball. Okay. 
And this is a newer Pokemon, by the way, in case you might be curious. It's a dragon type, of course. Anyway, these cards that I have, two of them are trainer cards, and they're the new style of holographic. And by the way, that noise that you hear is rain. It's raining very hard outside. I think it might add to it, but anyway. I also like to collect the trainer cards. They're really cool, they have artwork, and that's mainly, mainly one of the reasons why I collect Pokemon cards is because of the artwork. And I'll go into detail about that later, I guess. They're just really awesome looking. I mean, look at that. How can you not like that? That's so cool. I mean, look at that. Anyway. <laughs> So we're going to put these in here. In the trainer section that I have organized. And this is called a first ticket. I'm not really sure what it all well, yet yeah, tells you what it does, but I don't know. I don't recognize the name from the games or anything. Someone might be able to help me with that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the card sleeve. And it's kind of hard to do with one hand. There we go. And then we have another one. Experience share. I recognize this. This is actually really nifty to have in the games. It's equally awesome. When your active Pokemon is knocked out by damage from the opponent's attack, you may move one basic energy card that was atta attached to that Pokemon to the Pokemon this card is attached to. See, these things are used differently. In the Pokemon game, so like this is actually used to share experience, like self-explanatory, and help your Pokemon grow, basically. Yeah. I don't really know much about the card game mechanics. I mean, it'd probably help if I did know and researched it more. I've always wanted to actually use the cards for their purpose and play with them, but at the same time I don't want to mess them up. So, what the F? Why do they always do this to me? Look at that. Look, 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 look. look at that. Ah, focus, damn you. Pardon my French. See that? is a new symbol. This is a new card group that they just came out with that I just, like, literally now just realized. And I think dragons have their own special little group now. I mean, I thought it was a dark type. See, I organize my cards by type. And people who collect cards usually organize it whichever way they feel is fitting, but I organize it by type, and this just throws me off. So look, they used to organize dragons by this flying type, dragon type, and normal. That symbolized those three type groups. Dragonite, yay! Let's see. Latios, Latios, both dragon types. 
Dragon. That's a really cool card. But now, I guess they have their own special little type group. Uh, I don't really know where to put them now. I guess I could put them here. Are these all like that? No, they're not all like that. I'll put these guys. Big ones, really cool. <laughs> I'll put these guys. Um, I'll organize them some other time. But let's just move on to the groups that I already have. Like I don't have to make a lot of loud noise. Too. You know what? I'm just gonna do it now. Ah, oh, it's so hard to do with one hand. I almost want to put the dragon types next to the dark types because their cards look very similar, but I don't want to get them confused. There's a Dragonite, and there's an Exu. Dragonite looks kind of goofy. Hmm, <laughs> it's a cool card anyway. It's about to open, <laughs> open up again. <laughs> open up again. Here's Tato. Hey Tato. This is called a reverse holographic. And they they recently, relatively recently started doing this. And I think it's pretty cool. They have a cool design. Tail is a little sparrow Pokemon. A fine type, of course. He's gonna go right behind P Dove, Pi Dove, however you pronounce it. Okay. Next up, we have a really freaking awesome trainer card. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's textured. Rocky Helmet actually comes in really handy, really. <laughs> I don't know how to talk some days, it just doesn't happen in a lot of use. Rocky Helmet comes in a lot of use. Probably the coolest trainer card I have. I love the fact that they started texturing cards like that. And let's go back here. One more flying dragon section. Next up we have the evolution of P Dove Tranquil. I love this card art so much. Not the This guy with a boat on a boat. I should probably stop recording now before it gets any worse. Before I get any worse. <laughs> you know, Clink is a um, 
we have a quaint. This is steel type. Cool little gears. And this video is already going on 15 minutes. I'm going to do another video where, it's, where I'm not being as much of a goofball and stuff and actually get into depth about my Pokemon card play. Collect <laughs> collection. <laughs> you at least laughed at my expense. That it, that you found this entertaining in some shape or form.